Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue our days of preparation for the installation of our new Archbishop, Cardinal Jose Advincula, today we focus and reflect on the Bishop as possessing the sacrament, the fullness of the sacrament of the priesthood. As priest, he is to lead us in prayer, faithfulness, and holiness. And so, to prepare ourselves for this sacrament, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for your glory and the salvation of the human race willed to establish Christ as the eternal High Priest, grant that the people He has gained for you by His blood 
may through their participation in His memorial experience the power of His cross and resurrection. Who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if you would put up with a little foolishness from me, please put up with me, for I am jealous of you with the jealousy of God, since I betrothed you to one husband to present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I am afraid that as the serpent received Eve by his cunning, your thoughts may be corrupted from a sincere and pure commitment to Christ. For if someone comes and preaches another Jesus than the one we preached, or if you received a different spirit from the one you received, or a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it well enough. For I think that I am not in any way inferior to these super apostles. Even if I am untrained in speaking, I am not so in knowledge. In every way, we have made this plain to you in all things. Did I make a mistake when I humbled myself so that you might be exalted? because I preached the gospel of God to you without charge. I plundered other churches by accepting from them in order to minister to you. And when I was with you and in need, I did not burden anyone. For the brothers who came from Macedonia supplied my needs. So I refrained and will refrain from burdening you in any way. By the truth of Christ in me, this boast of mine shall not be silenced in the regions of Achaia. And why? Because I do not love you? God knows I do. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. Majesty and glory are his work, and his justice endures forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. The works of his hands are faithful and just. Sure are all his precepts, reliable forever and ever. Rost in truth and equity. Your works, O Lord, are justice and truth. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia. Nikain mo, o o nakikinig ako sa iyong mga salita Alleluia 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew Glory to you, O Lord Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, 
your father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We continue our preparations, spiritual preparation, for the coming of our new Archbishop, Cardinal Jose Advincula. And as we do these preparations every day, we reflect on a certain aspect of the person of the bishop. And today, we reflect on the bishop as possessing the fullness of the sacrament of priesthood. Ang obispo bilang nagtataglay ng pagkapari ni Kristo. At kung titingnan po natin mga kapatid, ang atin pong dalawang pagbasa ngayong araw ay tamang-tama. Tamang-tama ang pagbasa ngayong araw tungkol sa tungkulin, gawain, katangian ng isang pari, ng isang obispo. Uunahin ko po ang ating unang pagbasa ngayong araw. Sa unang pagbasa ay narinig po natin ang sulat ni San Pablo sa mga taga Korinto. At kung babalikan po natin ang unang pagbasa, mapapansin po ninyo ang pakikipag-usap ni San Pablo sa mga taga Korinto ay parang kausap niya ang kanyang minamahal. Parang asawa ang turing ni San Pablo sa komunidad ng mga taga Korinto. In his letter, he talks to the Corinthians as if they were his bride. That is why in our first reading, St. Paul said, Please, if you would only put up with a little foolishness from me, he said, I am jealous. Nagseselos din pala si San Pablo, no? Parang sa mag-asawa. Pero bakit nga ba nagseselos si San Pablo? Because he said, there were people who came preaching Jesus, a different Jesus, and yet, you believe them. You forgot about me. You believed another preacher who is preaching a different Jesus, not the Jesus that I preached, but you believed in another person with a different Jesus. That is why St. Paul said, I am jealous with the jealousy of God. And towards the end, St. Paul said, Believe that I have done everything for you. And towards the end, he said, Do you believe that I really love you? Believe that I do love you. St. Paul 
is trying to tell the community, the church in Corinth, that he is treating them as if the community was his bride. He loves them and he wants them to be faithful to him because St. Paul also was faithful to them. Kaya po, hindi nag-aasawa ang pari. Hindi nag-aasawa ang obispo. Dahil kagaya ni San Pablo, ang asawa namin at ang minamahal namin ay ang simbahan. The first character on our first reading today of a priest, of a bishop, is faithfulness. The second character that we see in our readings today is in our gospel passage when Jesus was teaching his disciples how to pray. And that is another character, another primary duty and responsibility of a bishop, of a priest, and that is to teach people how to pray. And Jesus, in our gospel passage today, reminds us that prayer is not just about words, speaking many words, counting words, but prayer is words that relate to God, that speak to God. And these prayers must be translated into our day-to-day -day life. That is why Jesus, when teaching the disciples the Our Father, towards the end, He would remind them to forgive one another because prayer should be translated into action into our day-to-day -day life. A priest, a bishop, teaches the people how to pray. My dear brothers and sisters, these are the two characters of a bishop that is taught to us in our readings today. First, the priest or the bishop is faithful to his bride, which is the church. Whenever we see the bishop, whenever we see a priest, we should learn faithfulness. And secondly, a priest or a bishop teaches us and leads us into prayer. Faithfulness, prayer. These are the two things that the bishop should teach us and should witness to by his life. Sana po ngayong araw na ito na nagdiriwang tayo ng misa at habang pinagdarasal natin ang pagpapasalamat natin sa biyaya ng ating bagong arsobispo, Cardinal Jose Advincula, ipanalangin natin na matuto tayo sa kanya ng katapatan sa Diyos, pagdarasal at pananalangin sa Diyos. Let us pray that the community of the Archdiocese of Manila might become faithful to God, might become closer to God in prayer. Amen. Please stand. Christ has told us that we can call God our Father. So with firm hope, we bring our petitions before Him. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church throughout the world may always express a deep trust in the coming of the Father's kingdom of love, justice, and peace. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That amidst life's difficulties, we may not give up praying and never give into, into temptations, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may have sufficient bread to meet our daily needs and the greatness of heart to forgive our enemies, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and those who care for them may encounter God in their daily sacrifices. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may meet the Lord face to face in his eternal home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for listening to our petitions. Help us to trust always in your loving ways and to accept your will in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer Himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so, we have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that through our partaking in this sacrifice, which your Son commanded to be offered in his memory, you may make us together with him an everlasting oblation to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now pray the prayer of gratitude for the gift of our new Archbishop. Lord Jesus Christ, Good, good Shepherd, Shepherd and, and High Priest, priest we, we praise, praise you and, and offer you our, our sincere gratitude for calling Cardinal, Cardinal Jose Advincula to, to serve as our Archbishop. May he lead us as a loving shepherd who cares for his flock and seeks out the lost sheep. May he be for us a gentle and listening father, a faithful teacher and a steward of your sacred mysteries. Grant him health, strength, and wisdom. Strengthen the bonds of unity among us your priests and faithful in our archdiocese, so that we may serve you as one body. Purify us and sustain us in charity, for your love for us never fails. 
grant that the faithful of our local church may boldly answer your call to mission. You who live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Darasalin naman po natin ang ating panalangin sa mahal na Birhen ng Antipolo. Mahal na ina at reyna ng mag-anak na Pilipino, isinasamo namin sa iyo na hilingin mo sa kabanal-banalan mong anak na igawad sa amin ang biyaya ng karunungang ikakikilala namin ng masama at magaling na talikdan namin ang kasamaan at matutukan naming yakapin ang kagalingan nang tumimi mo sa puso namin ang totoong takot sa Diyos na pinagmumula ng lahat ng karunungan at matuto kaming manguna sa iba ng pagtupad sa utos ng Diyos at gayon din naman igawad mo sa amin ang ninanasa namin at hinihingi dito sa pagsisiyam na ito kung ito'y ukol sa kapurihan ng Diyos at kagalingan ng kaluluwa namin. Amen. We once again invite everyone tomorrow, uh, June 18, Friday, during our lunchtime Mass at 12.10 p.m., we will be celebrating the Holy Eucharist in commemoration of the 395th anniversary of the arrival of the image of Our Lady of Antipolo here in the Philippines. Our presider will be our apostolic administrator, Bishop Broderick Pabilio, and together with him will be his concelebrant, Bishop Noli Buco, Auxiliary Bishop of the Diocese of Antipolo. We invite everyone to join us, and for those who are at home, Uh, and in their workplaces to join us online through this celebration for Our Lady of Antipolo. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Stand before the grand horizon. Five hundred years of faith, grateful today. We bear the gift of mission. Totally yours, we give ourselves faithfully yours until the end. To your mission, Lord, we give our name.